Good afternoon, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our midday meditation on the Chronicles. Today we're in 2 Chronicles 28, verses 22 through 27. Tyler. Now, in the time of his distress, King Ahaz became increasingly unfaithful to the Lord. This is that King Ahaz. For he sacrificed to the gods of Damascus, which had defeated him, saying, Because the gods of the kings of Syria helped them, I will sacrifice to them that they may help me. But they were the ruin of him and all of all Israel. So Ahaz gathered the articles of the house of God, cut in pieces the articles of the house of God, shut up the doors of the house of the Lord, and made for himself altars in every corner of Jerusalem. And in every single city in Judah he made high places to burn incense to other gods and provoked to anger the Lord God of his fathers. Now the rest of his acts and all his ways from first to last, indeed they are written in the book of the kings of Judah and Israel. So Ahaz rested with his fathers, and they buried him in the city in Jerusalem, but they did not bring him into the tombs of the kings of Israel. Then Hezekiah, his son, reigned in his place. At uh, the last part there of 23, you know, I will sacrifice to them so they may help me, but they were the ruin of him and all Israel. <laughs> oh, Ahaz. Ahaz, one of the worst of the southern kings. His grandson probably, you know, competes with him, Manasseh. But in the middle of one of the worst and the next worst, you have one of the best, Hezekiah. Um, I just, I'm sorry, dude, it just cracks me up. You know, he bolted the doors of the temple. He closed, he, he shut off everything to the temple to the God of Israel. Mm -hmm. And then he, throughout the city, put up, and not just in Jerusalem, but through every city in Judah, he put up all this foolishness. And uh, and he thought, this is this is this is how I'm gonna be saved. And it's just like how does he not how does it not register with him, Tyler, that if he would have learned a lesson from any of the previous good kings clean the temple up put the priest back in order and get that stuff back on track and then boom all this stuff will come back online I mean how, how does he miss stuff like Asa and Jehoshaphat and, and those guys what are your thoughts Said that they did this is especially the kingdom of Judah did an absolute terrible job of paying attention to their history, like you were saying. I mean, this is I'm assuming this is at the point, or roughly about at the point, um, where everything gets lost that um, Josiah ends up finding um, eight years into his reign. Um, they've basically given up on God just in general. Yeah. I mean, like we were talking about, you have. A quasi decent king um, in Jotham, a good king in Uzziah, um, and then miserable in Ahaz, and then we've got Hezekiah, then Manasseh, then we'll have Josiah. Mm -hmm. But God's an afterthought for them. Yeah. You know, I just. Uh... Oh, but at the end of verse 22. Yeah. This is that King Ahaz. Yeah. Yeah. He is so bad, he is that one. The worst of the worst, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and I mean, even the first part. In the time of his distress, he became even more unfaithful. Mm hmm. Um, which is uh, what we've already, you know. Generally, most of them, when it got real bad, they're like, oh, wait, let's go back and try the God that this temple's built for. Maybe he'll bail us out this time. Um, and, and God generally did. He generally did. Um, even though they were a bunch of rascals. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> what's the lesson here, Tyler? Turn to God, don't turn to idols. Okay. And other false gods that aren't doing you any good anyways. Another part of that would be look at the idols in your own heart. Consider them. Um, Americanism. 
Texas, military, football teams, basketball, baseball. Do you have things that you put ahead of the Lord? Family? Beware of those idols. Beware of them. Um, don't, don't be like Ahaz. I think that's our, our, our watchword for the day. Don't be like Ahaz. Say it with me. Don't, don't be, be like Ahaz. All right. With that, don't be like Ahaz. And Lord willing, we'll see you tonight.